What's up everyone, welcome back to Heralds of Espana, starting back up where we left off. Um, I did some research in between episodes, like I said I would, and I found out why my infantry wasn't upgrading, funny enough. Uh, I have to find it real quick. It is right here. The upgrade, uh, upgrade line infantry to skirmish, skirmish infantry. So if y'all ever have this problem, you click this button and it'll upgrade them up to the skirmish infantry. Um, so yeah, we solved that problem, which was pretty big. And yeah, I think we unpause and roll right into it. We have some available decisions, the Niger River Expedition. Uh, you know what, we're gonna do it. Who do we choose though? So Benito, he's landowners. He's armed forces. He's liked. He's 70 years old. <laughs> we'll do that, I guess. He might die on the expedition, but hey, he's going off with a bang. Uh, we were finishing up all those barracks I had queued. We have almost way too much wood. I got, like I said last episode, we were wood happy and queuing this up. And then our journal, the Nihilist movement, we'll time out, plus 5% of academics. Hmm. I don't think we're going to take part in that. Don't think we're going to take part in that. So we have the shell gun unlocked. We have a ammunition shortage, which is actually a good thing, believe it or not, because now we're creating more jobs, people. We're creating jobs. So where is our ammunition? It's in Valencia. Crazy productive. We're going to add one more. And honestly, we should put it in Badajoz. Paper mills here are not productive. We also have modern sewage. So with this, we're going to get plus 5 max weekly construction progress. Plus 10 tr uh, land trade capacity. Minus 10% pollution. Some infrastructure per 100,000 population, plus 20 maximum infrastructure from population, and plus 5 construction sector max level. All good stuff. I think sewage is a really good society law to research. Ammunition shortage, yes, we know. We're addressing that. Uh, we also have a lot of diplomacy. What map filters up? We have an event down here onwards. Austria is not too happy they're neutral why can't we okay they're protective United States can we improve no who would like to do a defensive pact oh we have some countries who would want to do an alliance Brazil would Portugal yeah, we'll do that. We're in alliance with Portugal. Does that click off the journal for alliances? They have to be major power. Okay. Uh, who else? Alliances. Great Britain. They say no. Part of it's because we're not a major power. Or compared to our rank of major power. Base reluctance. I think that's fine. We can get there. Great Ching. Why do you say no? Pursuing a strategy of defend the borders. What is this? Okay. Look at that GDP growth. Now we're starting to get into the exponential growth instead of the logarithmic, which is really good. Alliance accepted, Portugal, and us stand together. Buildings, barracks are almost done. Then we'll build a lot of those wood. It's actually good I queued up that much wood because we have a minus 900 balance. Uh, grain we could go with improving. Are there any grain things here that we can improve? 
The answer is no. So what we might do is either improve grain in these colonies, providing them more jobs. So uh, let's do single crop. Uh, this single crop. Rice farms. Everything needs to be... Single crop. And I think that's going to have a trickle effect of making other buildings more productive. And that's the thing with Victoria 3 is it's all about playing the balance between buildings and finding that happy medium. You don't want prices to be too low. You don't want prices to be too high. On the one hand, I will say one thing to have really low is grain. Just because of the amount that it's used by your pops. You don't want to not be able to afford your food, right? Uh, Galatia. We have neglected Galatia a lot. Could do... How do we make this more productive? Bone China. Oh, Rubber Rush. Puerto Rico gets Rubber Rush. Very cool. Rubber's discovered there. Now, we don't have any rubber demand yet. I think we get rubber demand whenever we get into elastics. So if we go into our technology tree, once we go to like, uh, where is it? Shift work, rubber. I think it's art silk or... Uh, where is this? There is a technology here. Oh, vulcanization. So elastics for textile mills. That will create a demand for rubber and make our textile mills a lot more productive. We currently have postal savings being researched followed by dialects. I think society wise nationalism plus 10% authority. I think we're fine on authority. We actually need to burn some authority. We're not utilizing all of our authority properly. So when we go to wood, like if we were to see what states are producing the most amount of wood, maybe Catalonia, we could go like improve, encourage, uh, where is it? Resource industry. We'll do that. Um, who has the most amount of woodcutters? Oh, bad news. He'll find another one. It's kind of repetitive, the, the events. I feel like you could memorize the events for the expeditions and have it to where it always succeeds because it's the exact same events from last time whenever we did, I think, the Congo expedition. Uh, but if we look at who has the most wood, Navara does. So with Navara, do we have encourage... We do have resource industry encouraged there. We'll finish these logging camps. That'll go by quick. Finish the munition plant. Because when we go to Valencia... I'm sure this munition plant just has to be, yeah, number one in the world. I'd love to know what the number one for manufacturers are in the world. Because lead is cheap, explosives are cheap, munitions are expensive, and our military has been converting over to skirmish infantry. So that was successful. So whenever you convert it, it said, the tooltip said something about morale loss, but it slowly goes back over time. So it's nothing to really worry about whenever you're doing that, unless you're in an active war. Uh, we could build a logging camp over here, create some jobs for the population. Um, ammunition, yep, 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 yep. 32.1. Uh, also, one thing I was looking at in between episodes is we need to increase our liter literacy and putting more universities down because whenever we look at our technology and we go to our, I think, innovation, where was it at? Literacy. Okay. 
we have not reached our innovation cap. We're only doing plus 75.8 out of 119.1. So we want to try to maximize our innovation cap. So we're always being the most innovative and having the best technology research compared to our opposing nations, which will lead to like increased productions down the line, etc., etc. So we need to invest in our education of our people. Um, I think we need to add essentially just one more university in all of our main states within our country. It's going to be a lot to do up front, like a lot of building queue, but it's going to add our innovation. Well, let's take a step back. Each one adds how much innovation plus two. So let's do the math on this. We go to plus two, so 119, so plus five would be 80, 40 for 120, so essentially 45 innovation just about. So yeah, that, that's still fine. We won't even reach innovation cap with that. And we've really reached a happy equilibrium with our budget because we're not going too much into deficit. We're not going too far into positive. We're doing a healthy growth for our nation, which is a great thing. Oh, we have events. Um, fell off the boat, find them, rubber rush. Uh, where do we have African colonies, at least two countries. Oh, no, no, no. African colonies. Any Spanish state is a colony. Spans the entire state region. Sierra Leone. It's unrecognized power. It's, ugh. Man. Liberia. Liberia, you might be a subject of a colonial war. Uh, if we take a look at our lenses real quick and look at states, Guinea is... Oh, we have the entirety. Is it because we need to incorporate it? Take 20 years. Take 20 years to incorporate African colonies, any Spanish state. It's an unincorporated state. I just want to make sure I'm making the right decision here. Spans the entire state. We have all of Guinea. And we just checked, double checking again, states. Sierra Leone. But that kind of matches what already exists. Maybe we incorporate them because their standard of living is is pretty good. It's ten point five which is actually higher than our average. I say we incorporate them. It's going to take 20 years, so 1892. Whoa, that's late. Um, it's going to cost 141 bureaucracy. Okay, if we're going to incorporate them, thing is we have to do it sooner rather than later. Let us do this. Let us build some government administrations. Toledo, we'll build one in Valencia, Castile. Each one adds 50 bureaucracy, so that's gonna be 150. Uh, we need to add one more, so we'll add it to Western Andalusia. 
we'll finish these buildings so we can start incorporating that state as fast as possible to hopefully finish that journal entry. I hope I'm not misinterpreting this. Any Spanish state. So when we look at this, it's a state in Spain. And the journal entry says, spans the entire state region. Okay, is there a state region lens? Guinea. I wonder if it's because Gambia, Gambia, Senegal, Gambia, Guinea, Mali, Western Mali. I really think I have all of Guinea. I don't know why it's not getting that event. Another thing I need to add to the research, so I will write this down real quick. So. Okay, population is growing at 1.16, that's really good growth, GDP is really going well, we will look at our goods, wood is definitely struggling, and we'll actually cancel one of those, we do need to improve that just so our tax efficiency because when there's a deficit we're having 1.1 waste that's not much it's, it's not nothing it's nothing to stress about but i do want to be in the positive because i actually want to increase some of our institutions as well oh we lost oh it's because we can't afford it but once we can't afford it either we improved colonization or the law enforcement speaking of colonization uh, the colonization in Papua is going swimmingly. It's actually going kind of slow, so we do need to improve the colonization speed. We do have some events, even in here. Expedition progress. Tell them to push on. 75% chance nothing happens. We'll take the risk. Uh, we also have an event up here. Blast. Failed expedition. He died. <laughs> All right, uh, that's fun. Ammunition, yes, yes, yes. Should we throw another one into the pit? I have low organization, let's add uh, intelligence. Yeah, this guy is direct, plus 10 offense. Yeah, we'll do this guy. We'll throw a third one into the fire. He's 52. He's 51. I think we chose the right man for the job this time. Maybe just like the running joke is we just continue to send... Admirals, we want to retire down the Congo or the Niger, and that's the way of saying sayonara. Oh, French Senegal. Okay. We actually want to take this. So, won't, do we want to take it outright? Yeah, because of the opium. So, we will conquer state. Continue. We don't want anyone to take that sweet, sweet opium. Uh, yeah, I know. So we will mobilize our army. The first Spanish army who does not have enough commanders. And defense. We'll promote one of y'all. You're Catholic. 
do this. We'll promote you. And we'll mobilize. Move over here. We do need to improve... I think the other, like, um, outpost militaries, like, uh, this one's at Iberia, this one is in North Africa, and I think this army is, like, right here. It's kind of a waste. We could, uh, um, merge this with, let's see, merge it with third. Just because I don't see the need for a one army or one battalion army. Ammunition is expensive. Small arms are expensive. Actually, this is good news because now with our small arms manufacturers, we can go and... Do we have them all on rifling? We might already have them all on rifling. No, we don't. So plus 33. Yep, 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 yep. That's good. Put you on rifling. Smooth bores is artillery expensive. It's not. Opium is expensive. And this actually just might be because we're at war, so we might have just fallen fool to uh, tooltip. Your. You need another rail. Who else? Malalia. You need. Maybe another port. Okay, that's that was weird. I don't know why that tooltip came up and it vanished. So we're actually going to cancel that. And we're going to cancel the rail as well. L last episode, we were looking at improving the excess for our people. So if we look at the needs costs, services are still really high. Even though we had switched over... Oh, we have the expedition onwards. Okay. Even though we had switched these two gas oh we can do market squares there we go baby that's what we need so a lot more um glass needed which is good because now our glass factories in galatia will be far more productive we can do leaded glass maybe even crystal glass I'm going to say crystal glass, then we go to our lead manufacturers over, or lead mines in Valencia, I believe. Yes, Valencia. Switch those to condensed pumps, making those more profitable. 10.5 now, we're getting there. Have another event, hippopotamus sided. We'll wait, what a relief. I remember that from last time. It's, well, wait, what a relief. Urbanized Spain, we're almost there. It's 1872. I really want to start laying it on even more. Whoa, we're really negative whenever we mobilize this army. No one's joined in this conflict, which is good. We'll get all that opium to ourselves. War is broken out to arms. All good. Spanish second army needs a commander. We're going to go with the armed forces. And actually, we're going to take a look at our government. We went down a little bit. Armed forces have gone down. We can't, I, I want to bolster them. Just because I really think we need the armed forces in power if we're going to really start making moves against Britain later in the game. We will let them celebrate. Yeah, we're steamrolling them. 
I'm so glad that they added the animation of the people there. Okay, war's done. We will go to our demands. Make peace. Conquer. Oh, didn't mean to click that. Conquer. Then it will accept that whenever it's done. You guys can demobilize. Military shipyards productive. No. So, we need to increase our navy as well. Let's take a look at our construction where we're at. Okay, we're starting to finish up our logging. So, now we can go into our navy. Expand this. We'll add, I'd say, five more over into Valencia. And then... Actually, you know what? We're going to do 10 more. And then we'll add... 1, 2... So we'll do plus 10 uh, frigates and then plus 8 men of wars. Men of wars. Uh, we need to urbanize Spain completed. Awesome. Great power. Still working on that. Maintain subjects. We need subjects. Uh, I think we'll make Messinia a subject. I'm not really... Oh, they have... O oh, they have opium. Guys, we could be the biggest opium dealers this side of the Mississippi. Because besides, I think opium is only produced in very few regions. And we very well could just be the biggest crack opium dealers you've ever seen. So we're finishing up the logging camp. Still super negative. Is that the main reason? Does this lower wood consumption? No. Winds of change. This is not the end, actually, is what I'm going to choose there. Aragon's starting to get pretty educated. If we look at the information, literacy 56.8. Eight, pretty high, pretty high. Institutions, we're good there. Government laws, capitulation was forced. African colonies, oh, that was all I needed. Okay, we just needed to take more places. That's fine, perfect. So we finish African colonies. Now we need to go to alliances. Who would love to be our ally? ally? Great Britain. You're still reluctant. You're cautious. We might need to wait for infamy to burn off. Low organization. Fourth army. Okay, you're going to be transferred to over here.
Okay, good. We're very productive again as far as our balance goes. So we need to add some more construction sectors. I don't know about y'all, but I always randomly quit. Like, even as much as, as I've played Victoria 3, I still have to like click through all these to find like construction sector or whatever I'm looking for. Job Seekers, Catalonia, Valencia, Navarra. We'll add three more. They're on page three. Oh boy, we got a lot queued up. Ten point six standard of living. What? How do they have so much such high prestige? Oh, their standard of living's high, but these guys, it's their military. organization still they're traveling okay they'll get there we'll turn up the speed look at our goods okay bullets or ammunition still expensive seems happy here we'll do that would anyone like coffee oh I think there's that bug again whenever we try to trade anything nothing pops up I think this is a bug, because look, oh, nope, it's working for that. Tobacco, please. Let's get some tobacco buyers. And then I also want to take a look at our trade again and make sure we don't have any extremely negative trade routes like that. Like that. Like that. Third Spanish army is stationed here. There's skirmish. Let's add four more artillery. They're line infantry actually, so we can upgrade them. So we want to upgrade them to skirmish. GDP wise, we are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, catching up to the United States. Let's go. Attack on the river. Run. Let's see everyone's alive. Grave of the fallen. Got progress. There you go. It's complete. Finally, hold the grand exhibition. Okay, finish up that munitions plant. Then we'll go into education booms. Uh, Battlehouse, Battlehouse, you're going to be the bane of my existence. Paper mills here. Uh, hold on, what is this? The rigorous suppression of the nihilist movement has finally borne fruit, as the word nihilism becomes nothing but an obscenity once more. Uh, oh, yeah. Plus 5% research speed and plus 15% authority. Yes, please. Finish up the last logging camp. We're moving into universities, uplifting our people with education. 
And I think with our institutions, if we take a look at education, if I'm not mistaken, it does add, so they'll convert to Catholicism, that's fine. Because we have wealth based taxation. I know there's something that education equals prosperity or something like that. No social security. Poor laws could be good. Uh, excellent news. Yep. They'll love that. They'll love that. Landowners hate that. Landowners hate this one easy trick. God, look at that boom, man. We are we are in it. We're pumping. 10.6 now. I don't know how these guys are getting all their prestige though. I really don't. Because Scandinavia has high prestige. I, it, it probably has to do with the productivity of buildings compared to world because I know that adds prestige. Uh but even still It's kind of a lot of a difference. Badajoz will be the manufacturers of the most fine of furniture. We have the steam donkey. So if we look at our goods, we're good on most of that. Steel, though, a little bit high, are the private... Industries, yes, they are investing. I think we take a look at rural and make sure that we are removing the amount of influence that the landowners have by removing the amount of workers. Meat is fine. Meat is struggling as far as productivity. Coal. I think we're fine on coal. I think we look at urban before we look over here. So, baking powder in all these states, canneries in all these states. Uh, what is this? The prospect of workhouses, including religious instruction in their work, has allowed the proposal of poor laws. So plus 20%, yes, we're gonna do that. Oh, we can start doing bone china. Galatia, you could probably be our bone china place. Because that is also a state I've neglected. So they're gonna have bone china. And that adds shopkeepers, which is good. What? America's GDP just went to neck and neck to 20 million more. And our prestige, what, what's going on? What are we doing wrong here? Is it education? It's probably education because we're falling behind. Number 85. Population, we need to go to laws. We need to start really reforming our country too. Steel mills, government. Take a look at Papua, see how it's grown. Look at my boy, it's doing well.
and me switching it to hardwood there that's a major uh pro gamer move there because now it's more productive for these people so more will move in there so we got postal savings which gives us plus 20 percent maximum cash reserves uh more farmer investment pool contribution as well as shopkeepers very good and we're starting to get more shopkeepers our technology, we've burned through everything we've had queued. Galatarianism. Don't know if we want that. Um, oh, standardized filing system for government administration. I think we need that because whenever we go to our government standardized filing system, that gives us so much more bureaucracy. Uh, so that will be the next technology we take. And then we'll go back to production. We will take steel rail cars onto... Dynamite. After dynamite, let's look at military. We're getting logistics. I think we go with gantry cranes. How long is that going to take? Four years. No, we don't. Uh, this will add... A production method shift work I think we go improved fertilizer yeah that's good so we'll get central archives increase our bureaucracy be able to invest more into our society or uh, institutions and once we get Central Archives, we'll get steel railway cars. That will drive our GDP up even more um, than Dynamite and improve sort of... Yeah, that's, that's good. Anyways, I think this is a good place to leave off. Appreciate y'all so much, all y'all who've subscribed. I can't say how thankful I am. I never thought anyone would watch my YouTube videos. So it's been really cool. I'm really enjoying this journey. And uh, we'll see y'all in the next episode. Thank y'all so much.